I did not post about it. I probably should. I might throw a picture or a picture. I might throw a few of the videos up. Um, uh, tonight. <laughs> I should just do it tonight. But I went, which I talked to you guys a few weeks ago. I went to the Machine Gun Kelly concert Thursday. It was absolutely amazing. Um, anyone that is local that's been to Roaf or Deer Creek, Deer Creek or whatever you know it as, it's had many many names in the past. It was packed. It was an amazing concert. Um, I was able to, I was able to take someone from work. I had an extra ticket. I, me and Riley was supposed to go, which you guys don't know Riley, but he will be on eventually. Um, I think he might. I think I'm going to have him be the first guest after the studio's finished. But, uh, yeah, so I, I he was supposed to go, couldn't, and I ended up having a friend from work go and his girlfriend come along too. So it was his second concert, her first ever concert, and it was absolutely amazing. Um, I think, I think there was like seventeen thousand people there or something, which is for row off. That is quite a lot. I don't know what the capacity is for that place. I think it's kind of, I can't say unlimited, but with it having like the big lawn amphitheater style, you can fit quite a bit. And I think this was his only. I don't know if it was only, but it was his first outdoor venue for this tour. And he said it was the most people, too. Um, which, I don't know. I mean, that's, I don't know if he's just trying to stroke our egos because we were the ones there that night or what. But I looked up, like, when he was in Madison Square Garden, I didn't look up how many was there for him. But Madison Square Garden's capacity is, like, 19,000, so... He didn't sell it out, I guess. Yeah, maybe, maybe we did have the largest number of people, but it was awesome. He had a skit going on for the concert, and had like a storyline going through the whole performance and stuff like that. Where like the um, he talked about how the internet put him in a box and and all this shit, and he had a makeshift fake helicopter that come down. I mean, there, people have probably seen some pictures from the concerts, but so he, like, was on the ladder and sang his first song hanging off a rope ladder from a fake helicopter and and stuff like that, and he he put on an amazing performance. His band was absolutely amazing. It was such a good show. It really was. Uh, I had a great time. I can't wait to see him uh, come through again. Because next time he's here, I'm, I have to go. Like, uh, I don't like spending a lot of money at like concerts or doing stuff like that all the time. Uh, just yesterday, I was looking at Post Malone tickets. And fuck, uh, he's coming in October. And it is a different venue, but... So, like, there is a actual seats, but even to get, like, nosebleeds, cheapest seats available that I could find at the moment, it was saying $141. And for me, I could I could afford it, but I don't want to spend that much money. It's like I would love to go see performances and see, see people in concert, but when it's that expensive, it's just a little much, me personally, especially for, like, nosebleeds. If it's, like, 60 bucks, yeah, but... Um, for something like that, like, I, like, I think one of the highest tickets I saw for post was like three grand. Ooh, that's a little, and I think that's just down, down by the stage. That's ridiculous. I can't believe people actually pay that. Me personally. It, I mean, like I love Post Malone. I love music and concerts are awesome. I love the, the whole um, vibe and atmosphere of them probably more than anything but sometimes I don't I don't think that kind of stuff is worth three grand me personally um, so but it, it was awesome I mean he he came out into the crowd a little bit and he came off the stage and did stuff and he 
brought up uh, two kids to come up on stage with him uh, for a song and, and all this shit. And we had, uh, there was a full moon that night and it was coming over the back of the concert, over the back of the venue, like on the top of the hill. It was crazy. I lost my voice for the most part. Uh, surprisingly, it was fine Friday, but um, it was it was such a great concert. He played songs from Tickets to My Downfall. He played songs from Hotel Diablo, which I was not expecting, which was sick because it's like, I, as a fan, I find that awesome because... I wanted to go see him last year, but at the time when I looked at tickets, for some reason, lawn tickets were like $160. I was like, I cannot pay $160 for lawn. I'm sorry. And so I didn't go, but him playing a couple songs then was cool. And then also like not seeing him perform Hotel Diablo to see him perform a couple songs from that was awesome um considering most artists play whatever album it is they're basically um touring and that's it most people i've ever seen kind of stick to the tour itself and so for him to kind of bounce around i found that really cool to kind of be like well if you're an older or if you're an old fan you didn't get to go to the concert here's some of my older music that was really big here's some of my bigger songs from some of my past albums or if you're a new fan and you've never really listened to these songs here you go here's a little hip-hop 